In this video, we're going to go over my updated predictions for the 2024 electoral map across all 50 states. Now, before we dive in, please subscribe to our channel and help us get to 1,000 subscribers. Without further ado, let's take a look at the map. Let's kick things off by filling in the solid states that firmly align with Biden's or Trump's camp. Boasting margins of 12 percentage points are higher. Joe Biden, the current president, appears set to secure Oregon, Washington, California, Vermont, New York, Hawaii, Connecticut, Delaware, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Massachusetts, and Rhode Island, totaling 147 electoral votes. At the other camp, Trump is anticipated to clinch victories in Utah, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, North and South Dakota, Nebraska, along with the 1st and 3rd congressional districts of Kansas, Iowa, Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, South Carolina, West Virginia, the 2nd District of Maine, and Alaska, securing the former president 132 electoral votes. Moving forward, let's categorize the states likely to vote for Biden. Although they may not be as firmly committed to the strong blue vote, these states are expected to have margins between 5 and 12 percentage points. Currently, Joe Biden is poised to win New Mexico, Colorado, Illinois, New Hampshire, New Jersey, and Maine's first congressional district. Colorado, in particular, holds a 6.5-point lead in RCP polling, signaling Biden's impending victory and acquisition of Colorado's 10 electoral votes. Despite historically leaning towards the red since attaining statehood in 1876, Colorado's consistent blue voting trend since 2008 Lined with Biden's current lead may suggest a likely outcome of Colorado sending its electoral votes to the Biden camp. Now, next in our agenda is New Mexico. Presenting five electoral votes up for grabs, a recent poll from last August by public policy polling showed Biden leading over Trump by eight total points. Although Biden secured a double-digit victory in 2020, the upcoming election may witness tighter margins. Notably, New Mexico stands out as the only state with a Hispanic majority, and with Hispanic voters increasingly shifting towards the right. Republicans could see improved prospects here in the future. In 2020, Trump lost the state by a narrow 10%, but now trails by only 8 points. Illinois has consistently leaned blue in the past 8 elections, with Biden securing a commanding 17% victory margin in 2020. It's reasonably safe to assume that the state's 19 electoral votes will go to the Biden camp due to its voting history. However, the margin between Biden and Trump is narrower in this election cycle, with polls by Emerson College showing Biden with a 9-point lead. While Illinois is expected to maintain its blue streak, having not voted red since 1988, it's not entirely implausible for Trump to win them over, especially with the narrowing point difference. Now let's turn our attention to New Hampshire, which, despite its consistent blue presidential voting, has often selected red-leaning individuals in the Senate and gubernatorial elections throughout its history. Now while this tendency may not significantly impact presidential voting, it's worth noting, a recent poll from New Jersey indicates that Biden leads by just seven points. However, the recent bribery scheme involving Bob Hernandez is likely to impact the Democrats' chances in the state. Despite still expected to win, it's anticipated to be a closer race than last time. Now, on to Maine, which operates uniquely with its electoral votes, similar to Nebraska. Maine has two districts, each capable of sending a vote in either direction they choose. Additionally, Two electoral votes are awarded to the candidate who wins the popular vote statewide. This was the case for Biden in the 2020 election. This year, Biden leads Maine's first congressional district by eight points. According to Pan-Atlantic Research's most recent poll, however, he faces challenges with the wide vote and the race for Maine's second congressional district. With that said, it's anticipated that at least one of Maine's electoral votes will go to Biden bringing his total electoral votes to 200 so far. Now, let's shift our focus to the states where I anticipate Trump will likely secure victory in this election, namely Texas, Florida, and Ohio. Texas, as the second largest state in the nation, with 40 electoral votes at stake, currently finds Trump leading by 8.8% according to RCP polling data. In the 2020 elections, Donald Trump secured Texas by a margin of 5.6 points, marking the narrowest victory for a Republican in the state since 1996. 
Despite this, the Republican Party has consistently outperformed the Democrats by 10 points since 2012. Moreover, Trump and Republicans have made significant gains among Hispanic residents in Texas, particularly in the Rio Grande Valley. This surge has temporarily dimmed Democratic hopes of turning Texas into a blue state in the near future. Meanwhile, Ohio is leaning towards a Trump victory, with a recent RCP poll showing a 10-point lead over Joe Biden. Now, while Ohio voting blue is an unprecedented, Barack Obama flipped the state in both the 2008 and 2012 elections. But Biden couldn't replicate that success in 2020. With Trump's substantial current lead, it's reasonable to assume that Ohio will likely swing its 17 votes to Trump's side. Florida, known as the Sunshine State, holds 30 electoral votes up for grabs between Trump and Biden. And interesting, there's less contention this time around. As recent RCP polls showed Trump leading by 9.5 points. Given this lead, it's safe to expect Florida's electoral votes to lean red. This brings Trump's total to 219 electoral votes so far, marking an increase of 87 votes. Let's now move on to categorize the states leaning towards Joe Biden, with margins ranging from 1 to 5 percentage points. Beginning with Virginia, holding 13 electoral votes, it stands as another pivotal battleground to monitor closely. The margin between the two candidates is tighter than in the 2020 election, with Biden currently leading over Trump by 4.3 points. As reported by RCP, this margin marks a 5.7 decrease from the previous election, possibly signaling a shift in votes this cycle. Virginia's classification as a battleground state underscores its significance. With a significant number of votes at stake, Virginia could potentially determine the outcome of the election for either candidate. Now, Minnesota boasts one of the most enduring blue streaks in the nation, second to only Washington, D.C. Current RCP shows Joe Biden leading over Trump by mere 2.3 points. However, this margin could fluctuate if Trump manages to sway voters from the sizable 20% expected to vote for a third-party candidate. Given Minnesota's extensive history of Democratic support, one might expect President Joe Biden to maintain a more substantial lead than 2.3%. Although it's anticipated that Biden will secure the Minnesota vote, there's speculation that Trump could disrupt this long-standing blue voting streak. So while Minnesota leans towards Biden, there remains a chance for Trump to sway voters. The Nebraska 2nd Congressional District emerges as a unique anomaly within the predominantly red-leaning state. This district witnessed a notable surge in support for Biden, similar to what we observed in the 2020 election when it voted blue, contrasting with the rest of Nebraska and its other two districts. While no available polls exist for Nebraska's 2nd District based on its voting pattern in the previous election between Trump and Biden, it's reasonable to anticipate that one electoral vote will tilt in favor of the current president. And with those 22 votes added to Biden's total, it brings him to 224 electoral votes at this point. Additionally, there are several states leaning towards Trump, which is crucial to monitor as they could significantly impact election projections. While there's no guarantee that states will remain red until election day, it's essential to keep a close eye on them leading up to the big day. Now, let's dive into some battleground highlights, starting with Nevada. Despite Nevada's recent tendency to vote blue, it's not considered a safe state for Biden due to its diverse voter base, many of whom lean red. Trump currently leads in the state according to RCP polls, with a 3.2 margin over Biden, averaging 47.5% of the vote compared to Biden's 44.3. Nevada's electoral behavior is intriguing, as it tends to align with the winning presidential candidate, except for the 1976 and 2016 elections. This makes Nevada a state to closely monitor, though its current lean towards red is notable. Moving on to Arizona. Trump currently holds a 4.5 point lead according to RCP polling. He previously secured Arizona in the 2016 election, surpassing Hillary Clinton by a margin of 4.1%. However, the state's voting tendency shifted in the 2020 election, resulting in an incredibly close race where Joe Biden narrowly won by merely 0.3% of the vote. Given Arizona's consistent red voting history in presidential elections, with 2020 being a significant exception, it wouldn't be surprising if Arizona flipped again. Presently, Arizona and its 11 electors are leaning towards the Trump camp. However, a flip towards the end wouldn't be shocking. Georgia, with a total of 16 points, is another state to closely watch as the election approaches. Trump currently holds a lead over President Joe Biden, with RCP polling indicating a 3.8 advantage. 
This contrasts sharply with the 2020 election where Biden narrowly managed to sway Georgia from Trump by a razor-thin margin of 0.2% of the vote. Historically leaning towards the Republican Party in recent presidential elections since 1996, Biden's 2020 victory in Georgia appears as an outlier. Recent polls suggest a multi-point lead for Trump, indicating that he has effectively secured Georgia a red victory, unless Biden once again manages to sway them over. Now, let's turn our attention to North Carolina, a state that shares many similarities with Florida. While the 2020 race was incredibly tight, the upcoming 2024 election might not be as closely contested. According to the most recent RCP polling, Trump holds a four-point lead. Despite this, North Carolina remains a highly competitive state and one they could potentially flip, given its voting pattern in 2020. Trump secured North Carolina by almost one and a half points in the previous election, suggesting that history may repeat itself in 2024. Although it currently leans red, like many other states, it wouldn't be surprising if it flipped at the last second. Moving on to Michigan, where RCP averages Trump leading by a margin of 2.8%. It's important to note that Biden claimed victory in the state in 2020. Despite Michigan's current favorability towards Trump, there are signs of diminishing support from crucial demographics. Hence, it wouldn't be surprising if the anticipated outcome shifts closer to election day. Although Michigan has historically leaned towards the blue side in presidential elections, Trump currently holds the edge over the incumbent president. It appears that those 15 electoral votes are projected to sway towards Trump. Pan-Atlantic research polls indicate that Maine has shifted its allegiance to Trump, with the former president leading by a margin of six points. Despite Biden's win in the previous election, Maine's second congressional district has now turned red, extending its influence to the statewide vote. At present, we expect Maine's two statewide electoral votes to align with Trump, adding 229 points to his tally, bringing him to a total of 285 electoral votes. Now let's turn our attention to pivotal states crucial for Biden's team to secure the vote. We start with Pennsylvania, boasting 19 electoral votes and standing out as a critical state to monitor in the previous election. Pennsylvania's electoral votes favored Biden. Presently, the current president holds a mere 0.1% lead over Trump, as per RCP data. Pennsylvania has predominantly leaned blue in electoral history except for Trump's 2016 victory. While outcomes often vary, current data indicates a potential Biden victory. Wisconsin also demands attention with its 10 electoral votes up for grabs. Given the narrow margin in the previous presidential race, it could again be tightly contested. Surprisingly, Trump leads by a slim 0.6% according to RCP averages. Despite being the only Republican presidential candidate to secure Wisconsin's vote since Ronald Reagan in 1984. And despite Wisconsin's blue vote in 2020, recent years have seen a red flip, suggesting a tilt towards the Trump camp. It seems that Donald Trump's 295 electoral votes will clinch victory in the Electoral College, Surpassing Joe Biden's 243, while states could still sway, Trump currently holds the advantage.